Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to another Secure by Scenario session at Open Security Summit. It's a mini summit. We're in January 2021. And we now have a new uh, presenter with us, Juan. And Juan has been a member of the community, uh, but has stepped up and offered to volunteer and run the session. Thank you so much for doing that. So without further ado, let's let's hear Juan and the scenario that we're going to be dealing with tonight. Uh, hello. Um... Uh, for tonight's scenario, we're talking about responding to a breach. So we have the very large megacorp company uh, that specializes in selling goods and services, uh, typically things that you might be sending off as gifts. And the media uh, newspaper has come to them saying that they have found uh, or they've been informed of a breach and have been given some proof of the breach. Hmm. and are coming then to this company for uh, a comment uh, as part of their uh, reporting. Okay. Uh, so... And here um, in the teams we have um, Sarah, who will be the blue team, representing the blue team. We have James who's representing the media, uh, who has just um, made a disclosure to us saying our data has been breached. And we have me, I will try to play my best to become management. Um, and we have Dennis and Adam who will be um, giving us their opinions and views and yeah, questions. So what happened? Media, um, where did you get this information from? Did you find it? Did you find it yourselves, or was it? Uh... No, it it was sent to us. We're still verifying the source, but we thought you'd like to know before we do anything with the story, so you can have a chance to comment. Okay. Can you please verify? Oh, like uh, how many records and what type of data is there? Uh, we can send you through a sample just so you can check whether it matches up with your records. Okay, please do that. And did we receive the data? Uh, one. Yeah, so you received a, a list with uh, names and addresses of people that you've delivered um, products to. Hmm. So we found out they are real, so they are accurate. Okay, so we might have a problem. Uh, so blue team will start looking at where this data might have might have uh, leaked. Can you give us any more information, Juan? So you've received. Um... So the media has been receiving some, uh, you've received uh, a list of 100 on your side uh, to compare on your systems. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been able to verify that the records do match up with your system. Yeah, that's not great. And how big is the real um, population of data? It's your database. It's the whole database. Well, you get to find out, you get to decide what's your, what you're finding with your uh, blue team. Okay. Let's, let's do some brainstorming. I'm going to pause the report, uh, recording and then we can um, resume again and um, talk about the decisions made. Uh, wait, be, be. Sorry, you were saying something. I was going to ask if Sarah had any things she wanted to do before you started recording. Okay. Um, okay, so we have received um, 
a sample set of data and we have uh, our teams have been able to match it to our database. So it is the data set is accurate. We currently do not know how it was leaked. Um, media has given us 24 hours before they go public. Um, me, I, as management, I reached out to our, uh, our, I got our legal team to reach out to our cyber risk insurance company. They have gi given us contacts for a PR company and also um, a third party consultancy company to come in and help because my blue team uh, people are understaffed and not specialized in this kind of stuff. So, um, and we have decided to take a few hours to do our investigation before saying anything publicly. Yes, any more for any more? Um, any more updates from anybody? Uh, Sarah, the status on your side? Uh, we just need more assistance to find out where the data, how the data has got out there and exactly what data has gone out there. But the, there's too short a time frame. Okay. Um, and James, are you keeping your 24 hour deadline? Yep, we'll, we'll stick to that. Someone else will go live with it if we don't. I mean, we're not the only ones they're going to send the data to. We're being very reasonable by saying we'll wait 24 hours. Quite a mm -hmm. good story. And that is a risk we are taking by not going public as soon as possible. But yeah, I will, I will keep monitoring the situation. Uh, so, Game Master, do we have any more um, details now at this point? Uh, no. At this point, the it's still in your. Uh, Okay, we to, uh, lost you a little bit there. It might have been me only, but can you repeat? Uh, uh, the ball's in your court uh, on how you're going to uh, act now with the pressure from the media and um, finding out what was leaked and uh, how you're going to react to this. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now, so I am getting a bit uh, just ready for not going public because, yes, as the media said, there could be other uh, media agencies who get the same data and they might be uh, getting ready with, with their breaking story. So I'll ask Adam for help and create a short and uh, sweet, maybe we can go uh, via Twitter, and shall we go LinkedIn as well, um, Adam, before, without giving too much information away, saying like we have received reports of a data breach, we are investigating it, kind of very small, short suite. Adam. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. So I'm. Um, I again need your opinion as PR um, to which channels should we go with uh, for the announcement? I'm thinking Twitter and LinkedIn. Is that a good good thing, or is, should we do something something else? Okay, yes, LinkedIn and Twitter a good place to announce. Yeah, if you want to go public, yes. Okay, then we'll do that. I'll leave that one to, with you. Um, Juan, do we have any more information? Yes, Please. we take care of that. Thank you. So you went live with the uh, PR and media? Uh, with the public statement, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, you're now being asked uh, more questions on what data is being... Uh, uh, you're, you're being asked which data has been lost in the breach. Mm -hmm. And your clients are asking uh, how they've been affected 
and uh, the extent of the breach. And our uh, blanket answer to all of them, uh, we are currently investigating. It's too early to tell. Please be patient with us. Uh, we appreciate your uh, patience. Yes. Did we find anything more from uh, with the help of this external company? Now it has been some hours, uh, several hours, maybe four or five hours. Um, has there been any any indication of uh, compromise or data leaving our um, estate? Um, dear James and Sarah, James in the role of external um, IT consultancy. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. I was just seeing if Sarah wanted to weigh in with anything. Uh, no extra details at the moment. The techies have only just hit the ground. So investigations, one into which system it could be looking at the data extract. And if there isn't enough data available, then to management, can you get the full proof of breach so that we can start comparing that and determine where it came from and possibly when it came from, whether there's any data stamps or whether there's any changes from our current data set. Boundary checking, seeing if there's anything going out that's unexpected and how critical, once we've established the system, how critical is that system? Yeah. So, Juan, do we get any more information? Like, did we find from what time the data set seems to be from or anything like that? Or shall we uh, just assume stuff? You have this as part of your um, proof of breach from the media. Uh, the media seems to have only given you a, a short sample of what they have. Uh, they did have uh, several thousand records, but this was not a complete data set that they received. Okay. And from that data, shall we just assume to have found it to be maybe from a year ago? Shall we just make an assumption for the scenario's sake? You can say that it was from the past, uh, past year, two years, okay. with the thousands of records. Okay, so it's potentially not a very recent breach. So, okay, so I want to understand a bit more from my teams, uh, what could be the reasons? And do we have logs going back that far? Um, what can we investigate in this case? I don't know about logs, but um, depending on how much data we could get, we could possibly establish how old it is, whether that's useful, I don't know. Uh, whether that system is a fulfillment system, logistic system, order system, whether it has payment data or sensitive data, again, uh, I, I don't know that at the moment, we'd have to investigate that. So one, how many systems have we got? Are they segregated? Are they single system you have one large erp with everything in the single database okay <clears throat> and interfaces to that uh, interface out for your um uh, fulfillment uh, services provider mm -hmm. uh, it's the single interface everything else is uh, processed through uh well sales managers who establish the orders and uh, confirm res uh, shipment reception. Is there anything in the extract that suggests more than fulfillment data has been compromised? You have in the in the data that's been released. You have the client's uh, details. Customer orders. Customer orders. Okay. So that I'm, could be from fulfillment because you need that data to fulfill the order. Yeah. 
is the fulfillment center internal or outsourced? Outsourced. Okay. I'm going to suggest management get in touch with the fulfillment company and tell them to start investigating as well. Yes. And I take that on board and I do it. I contact with them. I get Sarah with me as well so that uh, we can, uh, when I can't understand anything, uh, she can help me. Um, okay. And we, and they say, oh, it it shouldn't it couldn't have been us we we don't we didn't have any breach and stuff and i we try to convince them to do an investigation and do it quick and do we get any news from them one like, so your uh, fulfillment agency uh, tell you that they outsource the service but everything is run from your systems yeah, but they process the data. So they must be doing this for other companies as well. Did any other company approach them saying we're seeing some weird um, things? No one has approached them and they start and they look into this, but they don't uh, find uh, anything immediately. Mm. I do remember though, they had um, some security updates last year maybe they already know something that they're not telling us maybe they realize this uh, they double down that uh, nothing is coming on and uh, they're still investigating okay okay on our side um if that database was breached i'm assuming there's full application logging or some sort of logging in place. I'm being yes. optimistic. Okay. Anything unusual, anything with either ex-employees, unauthorized large data exports, because it would have to be a large data export and we don't normally do dumps, anything like that showing in the logs for the last uh, 18 months. Uh, you find logins from ex-employees still active and running and uh, various uh, transactions. Uh, copy co uh, uh, various copy orders established across the systems but nothing uh, from the size of the data that you're expecting but our login goes back to 18 months so we were able to search uh, yes you were able to search okay So are we almost certain that it wasn't from our system, the leak, or could it have been any other way internally? Like, could it have been a disgruntled employee or an opportunistic employee making this export from the system or something in smaller chunks uh, James it's entirely possible but unlikely someone would be more likely to do a single massive export from the system simply because it's lower risk if they're doing it over a long period of time then this seems a very strange way to use that data that would be more corporate espionage um, um, I'm, honestly, there's there's no ransom demand, is there? There's no demand for money. There's no threats. There's no anything like that involved. Yeah, I I guess not yet, at least. Well, if if they were going to ransom it, they would be doing that before going to the media. Yeah. True. Which suggest either shock troopers they just want to cause a fuss and get some fame but uh, the media statement that wasn't attributed to a particular group no anonymous um, reception of data with message on uh, what it contained okay 
So we've either got disgruntled employee or share price manipulation. Um, is Megacorp publicly traded? Yes. Hmm. We should have invested in more security. <laughs> Um, as as your external consultant, I'm suggesting it's probably driven by someone doing a essentially a pump and dump scheme. They're going to be buying up as soon as the news story hits, or rather shorting as soon as the news story hits. So they're looking to make money out of it. There's not much else in there for them unless you've really upset an internal employee at some point. Which could have been the case, but since... We've already gone public with a vague explanation. I guess our stock price is already yep. down. Um, uh, media, to have you gone public yet? No, media is still giving them the 24 hours. Wait, go public with a general thing about the statement and leave it at that for now. That's all anyone else has. <clears throat> Do we see yeah. any other news like... Um, has anyone else said anything? Oh, we know about this. This is that much information. Nobody is sharing anything. Uh, everyone is, uh, uh, you've tried to contact also other companies and uh, everyone's saying that you're on your own. Great. And our fulfillment center, fulfillment partner? Uh, they, they continue to claim that uh, nothing's going on on their side. And um, we're coming into eight hours to go. Okay. And uh, where's Megacorp headquartered? US, EU, UK? UK. Okay. So we should probably also reach out to ICO saying we suspect a data breach. We are doing investigation. I will get our data protection officer to do that. Could media give us the full data set they have got now that we all um, confirmed that the first hundred they've given us is correct? We really would like to do some more uh, information, uh, investigation on it. Can you send us a CD, James? Sorry, a CD? Yep, we can send a CD um, with media hat on, with consultant hat on. I'm going to suggest contacting the FCA and asking them to get involved in the investigation because there's potential market manipulation. That's a good call. Thank you. As the um, consultant company, could you uh, could you do it on our behalf, or should, do we need no, to do it? No, 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 you you are the company. You'd have to contact them. Okay. And we don't have a compliance department, so I'll try to get our legal legal person to do that. They seem to be good with paperwork. Okay, so you, you get the calls back from the ICO and the market regulations asking to um, what data has been released and um, what's been found in, as part of the investigation and uh, what sensitive data has been uh, released. It's, so we don't believe sensitive information has gone out, but we do know it's personal information. So name, surname, addresses, email addresses. Um, we don't believe there has been uh, payment information, payment card information, but we're still investigating. And we believe it could be a slightly outdated data set, but still um, as people don't know homes so frequently, it's still giving a medium level of risk for the individuals. 
maybe even low risk, low to medium, but because the numbers are potentially high, the volume of the data is high. So yeah, we're, we're keeping it to medium risk at this point. Bear in mind, there's still 48 hours left before you have to notify the ICO, and that's if you actually confirm a breach. Well, if there is a breach, obviously, because otherwise we, we haven't given this data to the media. So there's been a leak some, somewhere. So this fulfillment partner, are they coming up with anything? They haven't found anything on their systems or they claim not to have found anything on their systems. Um, have we found anything on our systems, anything that with that sort of volume of exfiltration? Uh, you found uh, data uh, copies from the backups that were being moved. Okay. But the movements don't seem uh, to be anything out of the normal, seem to be uh, automatic uh, movements. But from when? Um, from a, a year ago or? Yeah, the movements seem to have been um, uh, made from the backups from the moment that you set up the ERP. I didn't quite so, understand. Yeah. So, uh, it, from, from the backups going to where? Uh, copy your backups to a separate uh, storage facility. Okay, so did we always do that or was this a yes. new? Okay. Okay, so but if we always did that, that separate storage facility, is that one that's under full control and governance or is this one of those it was set up at the start and then everyone forgot about it situations? Set up at the start and everyone forgot about it situation. So is that going to a third party storage facility? Uh, no, it's just another building in, as part of your, the company's um, conglomerate. Mm. So it is part of our company that is yeah. providing us with backup services, sort of. Okay. So, yeah, that could be, it could be one backup tape that's got into wrong hands and now it's being used to uh, pressure us and yeah, yeah for market manipulation it could be that we should investigate that one as well could also still be disgruntled employee particularly if it's at another location so it's worth reviewing any recent firings or incidents resulting in termination yeah i asked that from the hr uh so there were a couple of terminations in the uh, past couple of years mm -hmm. uh, nothing uh flags up as suspicious but of course you uh, can uh, investigate this uh, further with uh, the team leaders and uh, unfortunately, of course, uh, CCTV is deleted on a monthly basis because of uh, privacy regulations. Mm. So I talk with HR um, for these uh, terminations. And whenever there's a termination, of course, there's, there, there has to be some bad feelings. Um, so I ask um, IT as well, to check if they these terminated employees did they have kind of access that would enable them to get data out and i also ask facilities to check if they had access to this other uh, facility we have where we store the backup tapes so do we get anything from from these two uh, questions one. Uh, several of the users had access to the tapes or had access to the ERP. Okay, so it's a wide, um, wide potential. Okay. So is oh. it possible to investigate all of them? Sorry? 
Is it um, possible to investigate all of them? Mm. Keeping in mind that you have little under eight hours before media goes public. Yes, but we've already gone public um, a little bit. At yeah, the point. public is aware of what is going on. So yeah, we're just doing the investigation so we can give them an, an accurate result of what is going on. Yeah. So at this stage, uh, even if media goes public, um, I don't think that's going to make a huge difference because people are already asking the questions and waiting on us. They're going to probably ask more questions or more people are going to hear about it because media is quite powerful. But we still need to get to the bottom of it. Uh, so you find that uh, one of the engineers was uh, Uh, was terminated, was wrongfully terminated. Hmm. And uh, he had direct access to the, he was terminated shortly before the first records on the data sample that you have. Right. So we can now eliminate the third party fulfillment uh, partner. They're off the hook, I guess. On, on the backups, are they um, physical media or electronic? Uh, magnetic tapes. When was the last inventory done of the tapes and is there one or are there any missing? Mm -hmm. There is, uh, because it was set up once and forgotten about, there is no real inventory of the tapes. Okay, so if it was set up and forgotten about, no process to rotate the tapes, which means that there's probably a tape library in place. Are there any tapes missing from the tape library? One. And did this engineer have access to the backup site? Yes. Okay. Okay. So this, this feels like, uh, what was it? It's the engineer with the backup tapes. <laughs> engineer with the backup tapes in the data center. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get there? Yes. Yeah. Say yes. Yay! That that's the cause. That doesn't solve it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I would love to. Um, talk to this engineer and uh, maybe get to an understanding whether they've sent this to anyone else. And we will say we won't press charges. Uh, if... Engineers off the grid, uh, mm -hmm. contact details are no longer valid. Okay. I get my OSINT team. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, never easy. Maybe I can. We can go to the police as well, law enforcement. It's just suspicion because it's. Um, it's a... Do you have an additional press release? Uh, not at this point because we're still haven't really concluded. And yeah. we don't want to say something that we are not 100% sure. We're 99% sure right now, but we're not 100% sure. But I would still ask for the law enforcement help with, with the findings that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we can ask for their guidance as well, because they might say, no, this is not enough evidence. It could be coincidental or something. Um, it's hard. So they help you confirm that indeed you don't have a passport uh, or identification number data in your database. You do have credit card information, but because this is processed by an external partner, it's all tokenized and can't be used. Okay. 
I didn't understand the last part. Uh, the, the credit card data is not credit card numbers in plain text. Okay, so the data that was leaked. Uh, the only thing that's usable is names, addresses, phone numbers, email address. Okay. And we reported that to ICO already, mm -hmm. so... Um, we can update ICO, but should we update ICO with our um, suspicion of this, this employee, or is it because it's, it's a suspicion? Maybe it's not usually best to just tell them everything. Mm. Keep them constantly updated. Okay. Okay, we'll give them an update, and this is what we suspect has happened. We're not able to find that backup tape. And we are getting law enforcement's help to um, best handle the situation. What else can we do? Uh, press statement to the press, stating okay. what was leaked, how. Well, that's that's for management and the company to decide. But your options are basically full transparency all the way through to being incredibly cagey with your statement. And it all depends on your own appetite there and which one you think will play best for your reputation. Okay. I think we can tell the press uh, something like, yes, we are uh, now aware that there was personal information, but no card information, no payment information. It was leaked. We suspect this was from uh, one missing uh, backup tapes, and we are still continuing the investigation into um, how this happened. But in the meantime, we will be contacting the, our customers. Right. Oh. And what do we say to the customers? Was any password data available in those backups? Uh, nothing in plain text. And what's the password encryption? Uh, it's uh, solid. They, they had money to invest in at the beginning, but then they left it. Uh... Kind of the opposite of a startup then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we shall notify the customers. We, we reassure them their uh, online account was not um, wasn't compromised, but we do suggest they do change the password and practice password hygiene. They don't. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, you have some clients who are asking about uh, which, what of the data was released and um, for uh, um, how long it was released? How long? Um, how uh, up to how old the data mm. was that you that you lost? Yeah, so it's um, potentially the whole database, but up to a year uh, ago. So it is a considerable amount of information that is lost. Uh, but we do not know how much of this data is being shared with the media. So we're going to be contacting all our customers saying we have um, had a data, data breach incident, a personal data breach incident. And please do, we, even though we haven't, your passwords were not uh, um, compromised, please do as a precaution, update your passwords. We could even reset all of their passwords, but then 
How many customers do we have? You are a very large company. You have thousands of customers. Thousands is not bad. <laughs> I guess we can we can do um, a password reset for all of them as a precaution. Yes. Okay, we'll do that. And we apologize. And we also, yeah, we also tell them to monitor their um, accounts for some time so that if you see anything suspicious, please contact your bank. I'm going to guess that the media is going public uh, shortly. Yep, and since the media have been given the story, they'll go public with a reasonably accurate story barely any sensationalism at all. <laughs> okay. Um, final thoughts, uh, management? It is very hard. We really appreciate your understanding. We take your security seriously. <laughs> And we will do better. So any plans for the future? Yes, we're starting a security program right away. <laughs> Get rid of all the engineers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unplug all the computers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everything <laughs> offline now. If they can't send it in the post, it's not worth dealing with. <laughs> uh, I think uh, you managed that rather well. Thank you. You yeah. kept us on our toes. Um, I was surprised the student asked to take the systems offline. Yeah. At any point. We haven't because the, there wasn't anything telling that this was an ongoing um, event and it wasn't like a ransomware, so we didn't really. Uh, I was just surprised uh, that at the beginning, this wasn't like the immediate reaction. Hmm. It was just a, something that surprised me, but uh, I think you did really well with um, staying on top of um, owning the story, uh, being open about what was going on. Thank you. And uh, I, I think, communication with the key partners. I think it's also in a couple of these scenarios, um, it's been deliberately set up and DDoS been in at least one of them. We're taking the systems offline immediately is the wrong thing to do and makes everything a lot worse. So it's always find out what's going on first. Yeah. To be fair, it didn't even cross my mind to <laughs> take the systems offline. <laughs> But I'm management, so I'm, I had other priorities. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I will stop the recording. Um, thank you, Juan, for, for this exercise. Pleasure.